Have you ever made a batch of chocolate chip cookies because you just wanted one cookie? But then what happens? You end up eating six cookies? Well, today, join me in the kitchen where I show you how to satisfy that chocolate chip cookie craving by making one chocolate chip cookie. Hi, I'm Leanne from yourhomebasemom.com and today's recipe for a single chocolate chip cookie is perfect for when that late night craving or anytime craving for a warm chocolate chip cookie hits. This cookie is crispy on the edges and soft in the middle, just the way I like them. Now, if you wanna share these cookies with someone else, you may wanna check out my small batch chocolate chip cookie recipe, which I'll link to up there, which makes six chocolate chip cookies. But you know, sometimes you just don't wanna share. All right, we're gonna start with a tablespoon and a half of softened butter. And I like the butter to be softened because it makes it easier to incorporate with the other ingredients. Now, whenever I'm making a small batch cookie recipe, I, I just do it by hand because doing it in a stand mixer, you have more of a tendency to over mix your cookies and that makes for a tough cookie. I just like to take the back of my spoon and kind of smash that butter a little bit and get it a little bit more soft. Just makes it easier. When I'm going to add in the brown sugar, and here we have two and a half tablespoons of brown sugar, and a tablespoon and a half, or two tablespoons, <laughs> two tablespoons, thank you my trusty assistant over here, two tablespoons of a granulated sugar. And then we are just gonna take my spoon again and mix all that in together. Get it nice and incorporated. All right, next we are going to add in a half a teaspoon of a vanilla and one egg yolk. Now we are only using the yolk because if you put the whole egg in, the cookie tastes just way too eggy. So save that egg white, throw it in with your scrambled eggs or something, but only use the egg yolk in the cookies. And then we're gonna get all of that mixed together. Next, we're gonna add in our dry ingredients and we are going to use a quarter cup of all-purpose flour plus one tablespoon. And then we have an eighth of a teaspoon of baking powder, eighth of a teaspoon of baking soda, and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. And then just mix until it is incorporated. You don't wanna over mix it. And then right before I almost got all the flour mixed in, I'd like to add in my chocolate chips. And we are using a quarter cup of chocolate chips. Now, you can use whatever flavor of chocolate chips you like. My favorite, though, are a combination of semi-sweet and white chocolate chips. But I like to take out, oh, I don't know, six or so chocolate chips and kind of save those to put on the top of the cookie. It just makes for a prettier cookie. So we're going to add in our chocolate chips. Finish stirring in so we don't see any dry flour. Get those chocolate chips mixed in and our cookie is ready to bake. All right, we are going to take our dough and we're just gonna kind of form it in to a ball. And then I've got my baking sheet here and I'm just using my little quarter sheet, sheet pan, parchment lined, and plop my dough on there. And then you wanna take that and just slightly with your hand, just slightly flatten it into a disc shape. Now, uh, then I'm gonna take those reserved chocolate chips and I just like to pop those onto the top. I just think it makes for a little bit prettier cookie. All right, now this is ready to go into the oven. We are going to bake it at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. All right, our cookie is done. Look at that, it is golden brown around the edges and nice and soft and gooey in the middle and it smells amazing. Now. All right, so this is a pretty good sized cookie and I'm feeling a little bit generous today, so I'm gonna share my cookie. Jim, come on in, hey. This is Jim, my husband, say hi, Jim. Hi, Jim. All right, so here is his cookie. Thank okay. you. Let me know what you think. Looks delicious. <laughs> Yum. This cookie is guaranteed to take care of any kind of a chocolate chip craving you have, no matter what time of day. My taste buds are exploding. <laughs> Well, thanks for joining me in the kitchen today, and I'll see you in the next video.